creative friends, Rebecca here, and I've got another NFC demo for you. This one I'm calling my lazy TV button. Why use four button clicks on a remote when I can just walk into the living room with my Android phone and this NFC tag is going to take me straight to YouTube. Alright, so we've got an NFC tag, an Android phone that's going to launch a website, and then we have a Fire TV which is set up to Alexa. And so there's an Alexa routine that then took me into YouTube. So pretty slick. All right, and so we set up a second NFC tag so we can go straight to the Weather Channel. So again, an Android phone is going to scan this tag, which will then launch a web page that does an Alexa routine. It turns on the TV, then after a few seconds, it will switch to HDMI channel one. Um, and this one will only work if the weather channel was the last thing that is on. Um, all right, stick around and I'll show you how to set all this up. Okay, so I wanna show you how to set this up. Really, the brains behind this whole setup is a company called Virtual Smart Home. Their website here is virtualsmarthome.xyz, and they have a handful of products, but the one that we are using is called URL Routine Trigger, this URL Routine Trigger. And if we go in and read more about it, they've got excellent setup instructions. And so this is going to work with Amazon Alexa and it will create a device that will be seen on your home network. So let me go in and just show you the basics of this. So you need, um, you need an account on this website. You need the Alexa application and a routine set up within the Alexa application. So let me log in. All right, and once you log in, your web page will look a little bit different because it will have you set up a trigger for the very first time. I already have two triggers set up, and so it, it walks you through the setup for these. And basically, once you create two triggers, all that is is you are giving a trigger a name. Here I've called mine Virtual Smart Home 1 and Virtual Smart Home 2. Once you create the trigger, they give you the URL, and I'm using this top URL here. Um, they give you the URL, and when that URL gets activated, then that will cause my Alexa routine to fire. All right, so now let me go take you over to Alexa. And inside Alexa, let me just real quickly, uh, our devices. All right, so for example, this Virtual Smart Home 2 is one of them. And you will notice in here what's genius about this is these devices will show up on your network as a doorbell. And so then you can use this doorbell whenever the doorbell gets pressed, then that can activate a routine. So if we go look at routines, we currently have two routines. And so one of them is going to turn on our TV and take us to YouTube. So whenever you create a brand new routine, you give it a name and then you tell it when to activate it. And so this one is going to activate at any time when the doorbell is pressed. Again, it's going to actually be a website. So whenever the website is open, that causes it to press the doorbell, you know, virtual doorbell. And then we have the ability to give the routine the instructions. And so this one has two actions it will perform. It turns on the TV and then it opens the YouTube app on the TV. So this one was very, very straightforward. The routine to go to Weather Channel was a little bit trickier. And honestly, it only goes to our local TV channels. We don't use the Weather Channel app, so it's only going to go to our local TV, which we get to that by using the input HDMI 1. And so that tag will literally just take us to whatever channel somebody was watching the day before. So, um, so if we if we turn off the TV and make sure Weather Channel is on, 
for us it's channel 7 if that's the last channel then our tag will always take us to weather channel otherwise it'll just take us to whatever the last local um, TV channel was but anyway so we name the routine and again this one is associated with a doorbell and whenever the doorbell is pressed then again there are two actions it's going to power on the TV and then this one was a little bit awkward um, YouTube worked great because it's just a built-in app on the Fire TV, but to get to HDMI, this was tricky. I finally got it to work here by using a custom task that says Alexa switch input to HDMI 1, and, and that ended up working uh, for us. Um, the only trick to that is that actually had to be set up first, that, that task actually had to be entered first before turning on the TV. But once you have both tasks in there, then you can flip-flop the order of them. So that was that was the only tricky part for that. Otherwise, the custom task was grayed out. So do your custom task first, and then do your TV task, and then flip-flop the, flip -flop the order. Um, all right. So you've got your Alexa application with a routine. You have your website activated. And then the only last step is to then program the NFC tag. All right, and I have just opened NFC Tools, my standalone edition version. It's actually very straightforward. You just go to write to add a record. And then we're going to go to this custom URL. And so then all you do is you copy and paste the URL from the virtualhome.xyz web page. And so that, that full long URL that they gave you, you just copy the whole thing and paste it in here. And then write that information to your tag. And that was it. So the tag is super simple. It just launches a web page. But then that web page, that's kind of the brains behind this. That causes the interaction with your Amazon Alexa routine. So thanks so much for watching. If I can answer any questions, I'll do my best. But if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.